guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl is williams how are you all doing hope you guys are good hope you guys are fine if you're new to this channel kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video people of god did ek just cast your bb niger girl faves or your bb niger girl is um, or you better wait around or stick around because you might need to hear this. But before we get into all those juicy stuff, the housemates got their first wager tax today. Just a few minutes ago before I started recording this video. So apparently this week's wager is all about reflections, reflecting on their previous season. So it's like in two different um segments. The first one, the whole week is all about them reflecting as individuals on their highlights for their season so they get to talk about it with their fellow um housemates and the second batch is that they will present a 60 minutes or at least a 60 minutes um play which will showcase um their previous seasons and the team of the play should be this is i or it is i or something like that so right now they are deliberating on that and they also have to stake um a percentage um of their winnings for the wager as they've always done but this time around they get to do it individually each person will be called into the diary room to um put up a stake if it's 50 percent or 60 percent of the wager he's willing to wager um for the week now after they've all done that if they win their wager um the total amount that they've wagered each individual will be put together and will be given to them as a house and if they lose the wager nothing will be given to them now also the remaining money if they win the wager the remaining monies um let's say you stake 50 percent and you guys actually won and the rest of the 50 percent big brother says it will be kept in their money point bag i think it's in the garden or somewhere where it will be saved for them for the rainy day they can't touch it until a time where big brother decides yes guys and also um um, Big Brother put out this um, post on their social media handles and it looks like we are going to be having our very first black envelope challenge. Remember that during the launch of the show, they talked about this, telling us that there will be an addition to the normal head of house challenge that we always or we are used to. And this will be happening um, on Mondays and today is Monday by 7 p.m. And this is what, you know, the post read, black envelope challenge whose fate will be sealed. That's scary. Like, this is just what they won. Yeah, they won of the show. And we are already going to be having a black envelope challenge. <laughs> this is actually going to be an intense season. Talking about things being intense. So there was this whole argument in the house, you know, um, a few hours ago about the whole um, um, human sex stuff and artificial intelligence sex toys and all that and there were people like venita and of course mercy saying that you know what sex toys are good meanwhile the likes of shay cross and of course fraud we are debating against it but that actually led to another conversation that happened in the dining area between kid wire ek white money and of course shay now in the course of that conversation they started talking about i think it was ile Baye that they were talking about her sex appeal or something like that now while they were talking ek also said this listen So EK unknowingly actually did admit that he is into pimping of Big Brother Niger girls to ballers in quotes now he basically said um where he makes the most money is 
when you know um he throws a party or there is a party and the the ballers the spenders you know those you know guys that their um bank accounts are very very fat um tells him you know what let's party together but um i'll need you to bring some of your big brother niger girls and he will you know bring them and according to him he says these girls are his friends there's really nothing romantic or no strings attached but to these guys you know something something will happen now when i heard this it actually brought my mind to the same thing that white money talked about some time ago in his podcast with ned drew and now this is Ike saying it like Ike was so sure of what he was saying that he actually said oh Vernita that he has you know called Vernita so many times for that kind of runs I'm like wow am I surprised I'll be lying to you if I say I'm actually surprised I'm not because I mean we've heard things like this but I mean that's a whole lot too and this is what I'm saying with this season you guys are going to be hearing a lot of stuff you guys will hear a lot about your faves that you are not even privy to why because these guys move in the same circle they know each other they've known each other some for a year some for two years some for three years some even for four or five years so um if they fight hmm anyway let me keep my mouth shut on that one but that's what um EK said and I'm like ah now wow anyways I mean in the morning everybody was you know doing making breakfast for themselves there is no resident chef in the house everybody's cooking for themselves there's been this you know everybody doing stuff for themselves but I'm asking myself how long will that last because we all know how big brother's house is especially with food um I hope they win their way Jasha Honestly, I hope they win their wager. Um, they've got to have this whole presentation of a play where everybody will maybe engage in one or two lines of dialogue for 60 minutes. That's like an hour, an hour. They better come correct because, like I said, it's the all-star season. We do not want any mediocre performance. Now, I'm looking at the people. Well, we have people in the creative industry there. A lot of them that are actors, actresses, producers, directors. This is where they have to, you know, bring out their director, their acting, their producer's cap, and actually um, put in work and give us a show. Now, I forgot to tell you in the beginning, the tax presentation will be happening on Fridays in the evening. And in addition to that, on Thursday afternoon, Big Brother says they have to do um, a practice of their play. Yes, the play that they intend to showcase or perform for Big Brother on Friday. They have to like give a practice or an organized practice of it so that Big Brother will actually see what they have to offer us on Friday. So um, a lot of them are putting in the work right now because you all know in Big Brother's house, when it comes to wages, if you don't put your best, you're gonna go hungry, you know, that week and the food fight will start. Let's see if they will pull this off. I'm actually confident that they will pull this off, but... Mm, with Big Brother, you can never be too sure of anything. What do you think about, you know, today so far? Who is giving you the buzz? Who is, you know, still in their shell? For me, I feel Princess is still very much not seen. Um, Ilebaye this morning has been kind of, you know, not really seen. Angel was sleeping before they called her. Um, she's been, you know how Angel is. She really doesn't sleep well at night. And in the morning, that's when she sleeps. Um, Mercy has been showcasing herself. Venita has been like following mercy up and down and i'm like girl i thought this whole thing ended back in 2019 why can't you be your own person anyways um that has happened neil i've really not seen neil like we used to see him kid wire has always been there white money is a bit quiet but then you could also see him especially with the kitchen and everything i love that he's also just you know doing his own thing not trying to cook for everybody fraud is also giving white money a run for his money because right now nobody is going to be having the monopoly of the kitchen um Pere is actually very chilled Pere and cross are a case like they were talking about cc you know and even ek said this morning that um sissy is one of those people that has been keeping it real sissy has just been herself even though she said that she'll make adekule cry that adekule should try her because i think adekule was kind of like making a joke about short people or something like that but honestly 
I might be wrong, but from what I'm seeing so far, Adekule is actually blossoming. Like, you know what they say about the crop of people you are in a place with can actually have a way of affecting you or I don't know the, what other word to use at the moment, but whatever it is that they are doing in that house is actually rubbing off well on Adekule. His, you know, the fun Adekule, he's not like reserved like we saw him do in um the level of season. I actually like it. Honestly, I do. Even though I still feel like he wants to talk about himself when other people are talking about themselves. But I mean, with time, we'll see how that goes. But at least we are seeing a lot of Adekule this morning. Ike is just there. He's kind of like, you know, trying to respect himself, not to get into trouble with Mercy. How long will that last? We do not know. Um, Who else? Fraud is still talking about his wife and his family. <laughs> I mean, some things never change. Honestly, some things has not changed from how we knew these people before. Messi is still killing it in the fashion department. Um, Angel is still being Angel. Ilebae still wants to have fun, but this time around, she's kind of like, you know, um, trying to understand why money is just observing. And for those of people, those people that were like, oh, white money is intimidated. He's not. I remember in his season that he won, this was how he was at some point. He was observing at at some point, he started open, opening up. So I think that's what's happening with white money at the moment. Talani Badge has not really given us the shege that she said she was to give us on stage. Um, but at least she's doing better than she was doing during the lockdown season in the first weeks before she was evicted. So all in all, I mean, these are some of the things. Shay is still being Shay, somehow funny, somehow annoying. But I mean, it's still Shay, so I'm used to him. That's why I'm not even taking anything that they are doing to her because I've seen it before. And yeah, so um that's about it for now i'll still go back to watch and i'll keep reporting to you guys what i've seen so far from the show what do you think what have you seen do you think that they will win this their do you think that they will be prepared enough let me know in the comment section on that note i'd like to say a very big thank you to you all for being part of my channel if you have not yet subscribed can you click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video until i come your way again i remain your darling girl azine williams